hello everyone in this video we are going to study the topic charts and the types of charts in calci so what are charts charts are graphical representation of numeric data the calci chart is also known as a graph it is a visual representation of numeric values charts make it easier for users to compare and understand the numbers so charts have become a popular way to present the numeric data so we are going to study the different types of charts like column line pie bar area scatter and etc so first thing we are going to study what are the parts of chart see i'll show you one chart for creating a chart first we need to create a worksheet or we need to uh, make some table so again we are going to take this cheap journal store now in this we can enter year and we can enter the sales suppose year is like uh, 2013 to uh, 14 then your 2014 to 15 2015 to 16 2016 to 17 and 2017 to 18 next here we can enter the sales uh, like we can enter 40 uh, 4500 sorry 45,000 okay sorry for 4 lakh we are taking because according to one year then 55 then we can take 34 60 and we can take 78 so here we have entered the year and the sales now i have formatted this uh, data uh, so now we will select these cells first we have to select the cells from which we have to make the uh, chart so we are selecting it from here now we will go to the insert and from insert you can select this chart now you can see the chart has been created okay and the chart wizard has been opened so from here you can select the different charts first is your column bar pie area line xy xy chart is also known as a scatter chart then bubble net stock column and line so all are these kind of charts so suppose I take the bar chart now if I click on next finish now you can see the bar chart has been created according to my data now this chart I have just created to explain that uh, what things are included in a chart see one thing is your x-axis so x-axis is your horizontal axis it is also called category axis okay this is your horizontal axis next is your y axis this is the vertical axis now this one this is called as the value axis then is your data series see the data series is the set of values you want to draw on the chart next is your chart area so all this area you can see this is what a, this is a chart area then is your plot area so the area of the chart in which data is plotted is known as the plot area then is your chart title chart title the text which is used to identify the chart then legend legend helps you to identify various plotted data series okay these you can see these are the legends like this is sales okay next is your grid lines these are all what these lines you can see in this is are the grid lines the horizontal and the vertical lines in the plot area then is your data label so this is a label that provide additional information about a data marker which represent a single data item or value coming from a worksheet cell now we are going to study how we can i have shown you how we can select the cell uh, how we can make the worksheet and how we can make the chart from it so different charts available in the open office calci are first is your area chart see in area chart first we will create the area chart okay we undo this chart
for making an area chart first we will select this data then again we will go to the insert from here we will select chart then from here you can click area here three designs are there so you can select any of the design now next then finish now after clicking on the next chart wizard is come here so it is going to ask us the data which we need to add now we have added the sales so next we can select these y values also now next it is asking about the title or the subtitle suppose we are entering the title sales report sales report now we can click on the next or we need to enter the subtitle like sales if we are clicking on the finish button now you can see the chart has been appeared so what you can see in this chart the magnitude of change over time is clearly visible so you can see in 2013-14 it was this and in 2014-13 the uh, sales was this okay so you can see the various time of magnitude now an area chart shows the relationship of the parts to the whole by displaying the sum of the plotted values okay so an area chart plots each data series on the top of the other the next thing we are going to make is your bar chart bar chart we have earlier made this one Sorry. here we have made the bar chart earlier so in bar chart the call and see column and bar chart are very similar to each other they both are used to compare the values across the categories but the thing is in column chart these bars are vertical but in bar chart these call uh, these bars are horizontal okay so it is arranged horizontally so call a uh, column chart are similar to the bar chart but have the categories axis at the bottom so each bar represents a single data value in a data table so your next one is the line chart we are going to create the line chart also first move this chart somewhere else now we are selecting this go to the insert then again to the chart then from here we have to click the line chart we can select any of the design suppose we are selecting this design now click on the next now we have clicked on the stack series next now if you want the data series in columns or in rows it's our wish next we can give this title again sales report then suppose I am going to finish it now you can see this is the line chart okay line chart data points of one data series are connected by the lines now this is yearly shown with the help of the points but connected with the lines so showing an upward or downward trend in the value each data series in a line uh, in the chart a line chart is usually two dimensional but can also be shown like a ribbon in three dimensional okay now next one is your pie chart see pie chart is always in a pie shape pie shape mean in a pizza shape so we are going to see now this one is your pie chart it is circular in shape suppose we have selected this okay now click on the next button again next now we can finish it you can see the chart has been made so this is what this is the pie chart now we can even select the 3d designs 3d look okay uh, from here you can select simple or realistic we have selected realistic now click on the next now it's your wish you want to calculate the y values then finish 
now you can see this is the 3d look of the pie shape so we are going to arrange this chart so that we can make more charts now next chart is your scatter chart okay so uh, and one thing more about the pie chart that pie chart shows only a single data series it shows the proportionate contribution of various items that make up the data series okay if you select more than one data series so data labels can be used in a pie chart to display either the actual value of each point or percentage figure so this compares the data to the whole of it now next one we have to make the scatter chart so we are going to select this We will select the data. Now go to the insert. Again to the chart. Then from here we are going to uh, use this scatter chart. Scatter chart is also known as XY chart. Suppose we are entering here the sales report. Um, finish. Now this one is your scatter chart. So you can see the points have been given here. No lines have been drawn. So the data collected is not always regular or even and data is uh, available often in clusters and at regular intervals. So you can use the scatter chart to show the relationship between the values in several data series. So these are the different charts available and I told you how to create them. I hope you can make any of the chart out of these. Now next topic is printing a worksheet. See by default open office Calci prints either the entire active worksheet or selected printed area. Now for that what we need to do we have to go to the print option from where we will go to this file. Now we have selected the whole sheet with the help of control plus a we will go to the file then you can click on the print and print preview is to see the uh, how it is going to look after the taking out the printout okay now i have clicked on the print preview so you can see this line is coming this is darker than other lines that means this is the page size when the page is going to be printed out so this will be the size of the page now you can see if I bring it down these are the lines these are line these lines are breaking the page that means this is the actual size of the page which is going to be uh, printed okay so we have various options in printing suppose uh, we are selecting control all now go to the print option it's showing because no printer is available here now these are the settings of the printers if you want to take out the printer out of all the sheets in this document so we will click on this if you want the selected sheets then we will click on this okay so from here we can select the pages or if you want to take out the print out of the selected cells then we have to select this and number of copies we want to take out print out that will be given here okay now the pages like 1, 2, 20 we can give here or we can write down 20 pages or if you want to print in the reverse page order so all these are the settings of this okay next thing is your page layout page layout is pages per sheet from here you can select the order you can select left to right then down or anything like that now options we have print to file create single print jobs so from here we can give the print command now one thing more is given statistical functions see statistical functions can be used to analyze the data in a spreadsheet uh, like we have different functions one is sum sum returns the sum of the selected cells we have average so you can see it from the tools or you can see data subtotals here you can see different functions are available like sum, count, average, max, min, 
product count all these so uh, some I told you that it returns the sum of the selected cells average returns the average of the selected cells max returns the highest value of the selected cells min returns the lowest value of the selected cells and if it returns one value of the if condition if we take out it okay then uh, now if we want to calculate the average value of this suppose I want to calculate the average value of this I will select the data then go to the data go to the subtotals from here you can select the max now we don't need the group by so we will select on the none now ok now we can even write the formula like is equals to average in brackets we can write the cell address from which we want to calculate like e6 to e10 so e6 to e and we will close the bracket enter so we will get the average of that if you want to calculate the maximum we can write down is equals to max in brackets we can write uh, uh, like this if you want to calculate from this column uh, it will be f6 to f10 f6 to f10 now what is the maximum value it is a 240 like this only we can calculate the minimum maximum uh, average etc so here we complete this chapter i hope all of you have understood now please practice all of these uh, all of this thing by on your own thank you all of you